All right, Fun Facts presents the Plymouth Roadrunner 440, the six pack. This is one of the all time classic muscle cars. It was first introduced back in 1968. It had a production run two years through 1970. I'm excited about this one. I hope you're excited. Let's get started now. Released back in 1969, the Plymouth offered their potent 440 six-pack engine in the Roadrunner with a package called the A12. This included the potent 440 engine, Edelbrock manifolds, three Hawley carburetors, a distinctive fiberglass hood, and Bear H series wheels. With this simple changes, the Roadrunner was much more than its Warner Brothers roots would suggest. Motor Trend named it Car of the Year back in 1969. <clears throat> While the 440 was cheaper option compared to the Hemi Road Runner, it was no slouch. With a big block 440, this runner was rated at 390 bhp and bridged the gap between the Hemi and the basic 383 model. But the A19 package was much more than an engine swap. It also included upgrades to the intake system, the driveline, and body. For $462, it was much more economical option than the much more expensive Hemi. The A12 engine was the typical of the other 446 packs found on other Mopars and included a sweet set of upgrades. Aside from the three dual throat Harley carburetors, the 440 included an alumin, aluminum Edelbrock intake manifold, chromed valve stems, a Maniflux connecting rods, and heavy duty valve springs. As an option, customers could order different push rods with more aggressive camshaft. Unfortunately, this engine was only produced in 1969 over a three month period. NHRA rated the engine at 410 BP, BHP. The fitted Edelbrock intake manifold was the first production OEM manifold produced by Edelbrock. All A12 440s received the signature lift off fiberglass hood which was fastened by hood pins. It was the only Mopar to receive such a treatment from the factory. Other goodies included rare 670 15 Goodyear polyglass tires with red stripes, the 15 by 6 H series wheels with chrome lug nuts, and a Dana 411 1 differential and 11 inch drum brakes. Speed and Supercar Magazine tested the 1969 A12 Roadrunner and got a quarter mile time of 13.88 seconds at 106, 13 miles per hour. Sold as a $462 option on the base 2945 for the Roadrunner, the A12 was a popular choice. Production of the A12 Roadrunner finished after 1,615 were built, <clears throat> 227 with automatics and 388 were made with four-speed manuals. Color options for the Roadrunner included Performance Red, Bahama Yellow, Rally Green, and Vitamin C Orange. Later in production, all the Dodge colors became available and some were finished in white, limelight, and sunflower yellow. Interior was restricted to just black or white with an option vinyl top. Well, if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help our channel. I was reading to you from supercars.net, a blog on the 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner 440. I'll leave a link below in the description and you may wish to look at other uh, examples of their blogs for other supercars. It's a great website. So again, thank you for taking the time out of your day 
And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we'll be doing all the muscle cars. We'll be doing all the hybrid cars, the supercars, the hot rods, the custom cars, the autoramas. So we have a little bit of everything for everybody. Thank you again for taking the time out of your day. We wish you a great day and always take good care.